Good morning. Welcome back to Cooking with Ease. For me, it is Saturday. For you, it is Sunday the next day. I am hungover as hell. Um, typically, I like to look presentable in these videos, but basically, number one, I was going to make like this puff pastry thing that I will be making with you next week, but it's like a tomato tart. I was so excited about it because I got these heirloom tomatoes from the farmer's market. I'm new to puff pastries, I've never used one. I didn't know you had to de thaw it in the fridge for two to three hours. I didn't have time for that yesterday because by that time I was already out, which is why I'm hungover now. But weirdly enough, it's Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Whenever I'm hungover, like, I can't sleep in. I literally went to bed at like four and woke up at seven. So I'm probably, I'm gonna try to go back to sleep after this egg sandwich, which is what we're making today. I thought how fitting, but to make, Anyway, I, I, I'm not embarrassed about anything right now, not to flex, but oh my god. I also have like this new mindset where I'm just like not embarrassed. Today, I thought what more fitting thing to make when I'm severely hungover, except for an egg sandwich, which is kind of what like started my cooking videos on TikTok. <sighs> oh my god. Usually I, uh... Wake up in my bed with my makeup off. I'm really good at my job. But my friend came over last night. My friend that is a man, but not anyone I'm interested in. Um, and we were watching interrogations when we got back. Celia was outside. We were watching interrogations inside. And then I like fell asleep on him. Okay. <laughs> Let's start the egg sandwich before I tuck around okay first things first you're gonna need an egg um i know it's shocking but this is actually a one egg egg sandwich because it's just everything fits better that way also not to be like so annoying but just to educate you on um eggs <laughs> i recently learned cage-free actually well i learned a few years ago cage-free means literally nothing um you can say it's like cage-free and like they can still basically be in a cage so you should go for pasture raised, but even that really doesn't mean much, apparently, because that can just mean they're still in like a, you can get away saying it's pasture raised on like a tiny patch of grass. So to stay safe and make sure, um, you know, I'm getting happy chickens because I've just driven by like too many farms where it's so sad and then the animals are so sad. I get them from the farmer's market. Um, so, and they taste so much better too. For the cheese, this is key. I always use pepper jack, and I have a technique to it, which I've gotten so many questions on before, because when I take my slice of pepper jack cheese, I fold it once in half, and then I fold it again, and make it into little squares, and then I place it in the egg, and everyone's always like, why don't you just put the whole slice in? Because this does, yes i still align it in a square but this disperses it better while the egg is cooking i'm going to put my toast in the key to a perfect egg sandwich is to time everything so my egg is you know getting ready to do my dual houdini flip if you know you know um and i like to use sourdough i think it's the one and only breakfast sandwich bread so i like to go you know kind of in the middle of the loaf to get a big piece. Love the smell of sourdough. I'm gonna stick her in the toaster. <laughs> Woohoo! Looks like this, it's time to flip, and you can't flip it too late. So I'm gonna show you very up close. This is the dual Houdini flip. So first I like to, you know, go around. Wait, this pan is losing its stick. Hold on. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Well, when this pan, this pan's becoming like not stick free anymore, but I like to flip it that way once, okay? You get the point, if it was ducky quiet. 
and then one way over that way. And I don't like it to get too cooked. Okay, that was a mess, but you get you get what it was supposed to go on if my pan had not lost its stick free. Okay, now we assemble. Um, so I mashed up some avocado and put a little bit of Brightland chili olive oil in it. And I'm gonna spread that evenly on both sides of my beautiful toast. I'm really scared for my hangover today because it's not feeling too bad yet, which I feel like those are usually the worst hangovers when you're not feeling too bad yet. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. Ah. But I'm going to try to sweat it out. I'm going to go for a walk after this and just like while I have energy force myself because I swear a good meal and a little bit of like movement helps a hangover so much if you can get yourself to do it. Now I'm putting crushed red pepper flakes on the toast. And then of course adding my egg. If I had hot honey, I would add hot honey too. I unfortunately do not have any um, right now. But I'm gonna add flaky salt, which is key. And very key, either Frank's or Tabasco. It can't be Cholula, I love Cholula, but I don't think Cholula, 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 whatever, I don't think that's like, um. I, that does not feel like a breakfast. Um, sauce to me unless you're doing like a breakfast quesadilla i like tabasco or franks on an egg sandwich okay all right here she is can you see her oh my goodness this is i really need this right now mm. yeah i love you so much bestie i'll see you next sunday I'll be more put together next Sunday while we're making a tomato pastry, but a little hungover over here right now. <laughs>